you know, it's me, your little boy, Kisamson. Listen, I want to let us know one secret about why going to church will never ever make you rich in life. Because many of us believers are being brainwashed so much and we are absolutely being deceived that going to church will exactly make you worthy in life. Which is a capital word error, according to my father. <laughs> a capital high word error. Reasons why going to church will never make you worthy. One, because none of the apostles of Christ, none of the disciples of Christ, none of the Christianity in the old age become rich nor worthy because they follow what Christ or God. Yes, look at Joseph. Look at, because, you know, if we talk about Joseph, people will say it is this. Look at Solomon. Look at, you know, David. Look at Moses. Look at all these prophets. All of them have a, a great eye skill that, that is paying them, even when they know God. Meaning that them knowing God, is not a guarantee for what for great or to become rich. What people will say, well, is it not God that blessed Solomon? Yes. But what does God use to bless Solomon? Solomon was already rich, but God saw what he was putting in effort. He had cattle, gold, animals, field, plantain, all kinds of what crops. He do it. But God decides to be blessed abundantly in need. Because many of us Christians today, the reason why today, if you go around the world, don't be deceived. Don't just, I'm a Christian. If you go around the world today, where you will find broke people are in the church. Mostly in the church. Yes, trust me. Mostly in the church. You know, just check around your premises. Where you find people who are broke is in the church because we are being brainwashed. Many of us are praying this prayer. Every spirit of poverty, I bound you, I destroy you, I terminate you, I frustrate you, I will be rich. You, you, this spirit of poverty, yes. The spirit, you know, when we talk about ancestral spirit, spirit that make people not to be worthy in terms of. It, it, there are some spirit that no matter how you walk, they will always cause problem. That you are walking, but you are not seeing what you are walking. They always cause that word, that that spirit of word, disaster. That whenever money comes into your hand, they destroy it. And that is why we know God. That is why we go to church for God to protect us from those who attack. But we don't go to church because we want to be successful. We go to church for us to know God, for us to have intimacy, for us to be able to be in line with God. Look at the apostles, all the apostles of Jesus Christ. Even Jesus said, nobody will tell you that Jesus was once a carpenter. Nobody will tell you this. Jesus is a carpenter because it's your father. If your father is a farmer, you are uh, you are accurately what a farmer. Like me now, my father is a pine type, also a farmer. So that means I am also a farmer because if the if pe if person now take me to go and do pine type, I'm not going to learn it again. I know how to do it. I'm all, I grow up with it. Sometimes when my dad go to meeting or my dad go to some urgent places, I am the one who always occupied his position. Meaning that what my father know how to do, I also know how to do it. So what does that simply mean? That Jesus have a handwork that assists him. But today, many of us, some bishop. You know, deacon pastors are confusing us, making us believe that going to church will make us worthy. Because none of the apostles look at 
you know, Matthew. Matthew is a tax collector who earned the Lord. Look at Peter, a fisherman who earned the Lord. Look at all the apostles of Christ. All of them have something that they are doing. Even Moses, the, the, word, the, the apostle of God, he has something he is doing. He is a, word, a sheep carer, a David. So what am I trying to say is this. Going to church will never make you rich because none of the apostles of Christ will end up becoming rich overnight because of the fact that they decide to follow what Christ. And another sign that going to church will not make you rich is that you will end up deceiving yourself. That is just one of it. You will end up deceiving yourself. Riches you will not be able to get. Brokenness you will be there. Why? Because that is not in line with God. Knowing God is not a guarantee for riches. Because many of us are blaming God. Why, Why is it that the unbelievers are rich? Because the truth is that God has placed everything in order. That is on the second sign. The second sign is that God has placed everything both for the poor, for the rich. It's just for you to use your 742 for you to use your brain and collect what he have given to you you won't see so don't let nobody deceive you that is that is why if you see a believer today unbeliever today who is working hard they always end up successfully even when they don't know god because god have made it so available for everybody god have made because many of us believe today that you paying tight you know eh, 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 it's something that they're used to scam a lot of people <laughs> like when i go to church last time in in africa they said i should pay tight do this that if i if god will bless me if i do this i look at them i say who do you try to deceive you are trying to deceive me if i want to pay tight i will pay it heartedly because i'm not paying it because i'm expecting god to bless me i'm paying it because i know that god is already blessing me with what i am doing because many of us today some some pastors will tell you ah empty your pocket empty your bank account god is going to bless you and you yourself will say oh god if this is this if this is the voice of god which is is a scam it's a scam don't let nobody this is a scam god is in heaven mocking you that is why the Bible says, study the word of God. Study it day and night so that you may not end up being deceived. Be smart as a word, as a, as an, as a serpent, be wise as a, as a word, as an ego. Be, be word, be smart. And be harmless as an ego. So you as, 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 as a Christian, don't let people deceive you. Everything you need on earth. That is why we have people who are furnitures. That is why we have people who produce wood, cloth. We have people who produce food. We have people who produce this. God give all men their own ability to create their own wealth. Everything is available. Don't let people in this world scam you. Someone told me in years back, he said, eh, Samson, you have to sow. If you keep sowing, God will keep blessing you. I looked at him, I said, if I sleep in this, my bed, will that money come? When God has put everything, there is work for you to do. There is place for you to do. One day, I, I heard a pastor preach, and he said, eh, you are going to receive a miracle alert. Everybody will. He said, he said put your hand on your on your what on your wallet whatsoever you have empty it before you reach home god is going to give you money a lot you are going to receive a massive money a lot even right from now people start to testify because those people who were testifying are those people whom they have set they have set them to scam people who are among them you also so don't let people deceive you these days bro be smart be smart enough Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. This is the only thing that will make you worthy. You know, the, why I know this is because even my great grandmother, I eat with her, drink with us, sleep in the same bed, in the same house, 
because I'm I'm the last born of my family. So whenever I go to my mother's house, I lie down, I sleep in her bed, sleep on the floor, play whatever. So I come to understand that how can my own grandmother, who does not know God, she don't know whether God exists, she does she have never prayed, she always believe in all this magic of it and and she is so worthy. When I mean worthy, she is so worthy that her weight, some are yet to be discovered. Meaning that everything on earth is already given. It is just for us to activate our brain and have it. Another job God do in what we have is that he help us to protect it. He helped us to guide all our what all our work. He helped us to he give us good head in order for us to take control of what we have. And he give us wisdom, more wisdom. The more weight you have, the more wisdom he you do what he enlighten on you in order for you to be able to do to do it, to, to control it. But not that you going to church or being a Christian will ever make you what worthy. Don't let nobody ever deceive you. Remember that.